I am knackered. Everything hurts. And they won't let me have a shower until they've checked my stitches. At least you didn't have to squat and squeeze him out in a lay-by. Yeah, thanks to poor Aaron. The relief when he realised he wouldn't have to roll up his sleeves and deliver thing. Thing? Yes, the name is a work in progress until I speak to Robert. What, before he runs off for his shiny new life in Slough? Wherever he ends up, he'll have this baby's best interests at heart. I thought he'd be here by now. Here we go. Precious cargo, safely delivered. <laughs> Welcome home, Thing. We haven't decided on a name yet. Um, from everyone that works here. Oh, thank you, Sam. Let me put this on a chair so you can sit down. I had my piles done once. I feel your pain. Oh, your granddad Jack would be so proud of you. Shame his dad isn't. Right. Anyone for champagne? It was you that broke us. You have to get those stairs. It would be a shame if there was an accident. Lucky. Well, maybe we could see what needs to be done together. Well, we're almost family now. Even though the kid's been abandoned by his dad. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Well, I thought he'd want to spend time with his family before he went to Slough. Robert's got a business trip planned. Ah, uh, he hasn't mentioned it. He's, uh, he's got a new job. A new job? But he's already got one. Well, it's a better opportunity, apparently. He's moving. It's the day after his baby's born. We'll have to have words about this. I really thought he'd be here by now. He'll be here. Does anyone know where Robert is? He's still not answering his phone. He must have got held up. He's not coming, is he? Sorry I'm late, everyone. Uh, I have to go into town. For you. <clears throat> oh, it's beautiful. It's expensive. You've given me a perfect son. Thank you. What's all this about you getting a new job in Slough? We'll talk about that later, Dan. Yeah. Um, can I? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you'd abandoned us. So if I do that, I'm his dad. Just give him some time. 